you sorry for? Because my brother's in a coma and I've come away with barely a scratch. I wish it was me. Doesn't make sense. He does. He's, he's a family man. He's got a business. Yeah, and you've got a baby. Yeah, well, what if he dies? He's strong, David. Right, if... What if he dies? And I've spent the last few months of his life hating his guts. Years, even. But I've hated him for as long as I can remember. I just can't remember why. So what's changed? Well, I might lose him. The past few months, David, you and Nick have been fine. Or fine by your standards. The only person you've had beef with is Kylie. But she's not the one that you've been hating. You know, some, something doesn't add up here. Unless it was Nick. What? He was a bloke that she slept with. You're mad. Christmas Day, of course. Leanne made a fool of him, and you've been vile to Kylie. What, so he's had a complete personality oh, change? I had, I had a string of blokes. I wrapped my brains, but I never had Nick on the list. Yes, because it wasn't him. But tell me who was then. No. No. No, because you can't, because it was Nick. You know, this is why this has hit you so hard. <laughs> because your own brother slept with your missus behind your back. <laughs> and, and we all know how you feel when people do things behind your back. He couldn't be more wrong. They end up in hospital. Remember what I said? Forget all the tubes and the machines. It's still a neck underneath. Yeah. It's gonna be so made up, you're here. Cool. Hiya. Um, can we? Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. It's all yours. Uh, here you go, Simon. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll just be outside if you need us. I think I did that. What is the matter with you? It was an accident. Why are you trying to twist yeah, you it? You said you had a plan. Oh, well, some plan. It could be me hooked up to those machines in there, Tina, if the van had spun around the other way. Did I plan that? No. There, down to the millimetre? No, but I just... But nothing. In here. What? Dude. This isn't right. This is Mr. Nick Tilsley. Squeaky clean. Right? He'd never do the dirty on me. And, and, and if he thought Kylie had slept with somebody else, then he'd sack her. He knows. What? He knows Kylie cheated. He wanted to talk to you. And how does he know that? You! You were going to do something stupid. Tina, that was private. Yeah, and make them suffer. I thought I could trust David, you. David, I was scared. Oh, well, what? So the only person you tell is Mr. No, Perfect. Yeah, look, Nick was worried. <sighs> I'm sorry. Yeah, well, you can tell him you're sorry. Because this whole day out, this trip to the wine cellar thing, it was all down to you. It's just a scam to get me in a van and talk. Yeah, well, we're not talking now, are we? <sighs> if he dies... I'm gonna die. David, I'm sorry. Get I... out. You said it was an accident. Get off me, right? Get out. I don't want to see your face. <sighs> so, no funerals. No one down with man flu. No cabs off the road. Got to be a first. Mm, just misses Imlac to bums and tums, so who's having the early dart? Heads or tails for the early dart? Heads. Tails. <laughs> Lloyd? What have I got to rush home for, eh? The next instalment of Dancing on Eggshells. <laughs> Was that a dig? No. Yes. At the bland monotony of tonight's TV schedule. <laughs> Fancy a drink at the Rovers later. I clock off at five. I was snowed under here, I'm sorry. Oh, we'll manage. I'll take jam. You don't have to. Five o'clock, then. Great. It's the pub. Crack a smile. She might even throw in some scratchings. Give her a break, Lloyd. She's trying. That's the problem. We're both trying. If you love someone, it shouldn't have to be such hard work. Are you OK? Yeah. What's up? Um, would you just go and sit with him for a minute? Yeah. No kid should have to see that. Hasn't he been through enough? Oh, poor kid. He just said, wake up, Nick. Please don't die. I love you. He's always been so loyal to Peter, always. But he knows that Nick's the best stepdad that any kid could wish for. To drink this, or am I going to end up wearing it? <laughs> Come on, we'll pass the history on it. Watch as the boss of lovely entertainment. Hey, you know, if you get a can of diet, 
and a can of regular, and you put them in a, a bowl of water. The regular sinks and the diet floats. Fascinating. Hmm? I've got a link to it on the phone. Since you won't say it, I will. We thought we could pick up where we left off. It felt like a fresh start after Johnny, but with a safety net. I knew you weren't a chancer. I knew you were in it for the long haul. I was. But we're living on memories, and it's not enough. You know it, and I know it. Hey, I dug something out for you. It makes you want to cry, buddy Ace. <laughs> We used to have this, it got trashed. <laughs> it was Johnny's. I want you to keep it. No. <laughs> yeah. And when you listen to it, smile and think of me. Oh, this came today. Electricity bill. Oh, not another blasted bill. Oh, they will keep coming. I've rung up and appraised them of our change of circumstances. I would have thought you'd have done that yourself. It was on my to-do list. Well, this must be wrong. Well, it's about average, allowing for annual increases. Yeah, but it's summer. Have you been sneaking the electric blanket on? No. I mean, we've got a perfectly good hot water bottle, you know. Let's have a look. <sighs> you want to try living with Tracy? Showers every morning, long baths every night. Oh, Tommy, telly blaring away whether he's watching it or not. Charges on standby. Oh, standby, that's the devil's work. <laughs> Hey, look what I found in the alley. Just dumped. Well, that, that's the bag I, I made up for Craig this morning. There's not a single paper being delivered. I mean, that's... That, that's... What you get for blackmailing folk into working for you. A waste. Well, you could always burn them on the fire, save on the eating bills. <laughs> <laughs> do we have to do a gank run? I mean... Can we be bothered? Uh, yeah, we can be bothered, cos you can bet the day that we don't bank the takings, that'll be the, the day that the shop gets turned over. Ah. But not if we beat the burglars to it. And I spend the takings on this season's must-have clutch. Well, that's a bag, right? Yeah. It's not a car cart. Hey, You're learning fast. Mm. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you bank the cash? I just need to have a word with Granny Grunt over there. Well, I'll wait. No, no, it's all right. I'll see you at the Rovers. Yeah, if I haven't legged it to Vegas. <laughs> see ya. See you later. Oh, hi, Mab. Wow, you look amazing. Have you had your colour done? What do you want? Oh, why do you always presume? Oh, OK. It's Amy. It's just, I can't help but think with this new business that I'm selling a short, you know? How do you mean? Well, it's a new business, ma'am. You've got to live and breathe it. There's so much to learn. There's so much to prove. Increasing revenue, marketing, stock control. At the risk of repeating myself, what do you want? I need three nights a week to call my own. Ah, to sleep at Rob's. Well, I say sleep. It's just while I get the business on its feet. And with three nights a week, I could achieve so much. And I really think it would help with this horrible separation guilt that I'm feeling. Right, so you think that palming your child off on your mother will help with your feelings of isolation? Well, it might help with your feelings of isolation. You know, with Dad being away. Leave it with me. You're feeling better. Isn't it amazing what a bar of could do? <laughs> well, I was wondering when you turn up. Hiya, I'm uh, Nick's wife, Leanne. Do you know how it happened? PC Collins, uh, shall we? Oh. Our team were at the scene soon after the crash. They gathered as much evidence as they could. Skid marks, potholes, that sort of thing. And uh, the van was taken for examination. Oh, well, now how long is that going to take? We're expecting an initial report back soon. We checked the service records. It only passed its MRT two weeks ago. This examination, would you be able to tell if the engine had been tampered with? It's just we've been asking David over and over, was Nick distracted? Was there something in the road? If he'd been on his own, I would have just said it was down to stress. He's had a really rough time of it lately. And what makes you think the van might have been tampered with? Because so many things have been going wrong. He said it couldn't be a coincidence, and I just told him he was being paranoid. And what sort of things? Well, we had our flat broken into, trashed, and there was poison pen letter, um, fake reviews online, really bad ones. But we run a restaurant. We've had cash stolen. You just have a lot of time to think in here, and I'm just starting to wonder, was this really an accident? All right, come on, then. 
Let's get some ice cream. I don't think Nick will mind. Don't play with that. You'll burst it. What's that policeman doing talking to my mum? I think he's looking for me. I've already told the police everything. Briefly, at the site of the crash, when you were probably in shock. I spoke to Mrs. Tilsley. Yeah, she keeps blaming herself. She rang Nick's mobile just before the crash, but don't worry, I put it right. None of this were her fault. Tell me what you remember about the accident. Again? I uh, don't really remember much. Um, Nick was driving and I was in the passenger seat. Seems Mr Tilsley wasn't wearing his seatbelt. I mean, does he regularly drive without one? No, never. You sure? Uh, oh, uh, that was it. Uh, I think he did try to get out of the van once it had stopped spinning. Uh, I didn't. I was frozen to my seat, but I, I, I think he wanted to get out to check for damages. You think? Uh, it all happened so fast. Well, that's what the lorry driver's statement says. One second the road was clear, the next you were in his path. There wouldn't have been time to get out. Uh, sorry, it was just a bit of a blur. And do you have no injuries? A bit of whiplash and bruises, but other than that, I'm, I'm fine. It's not fair, is it? Mrs Tilsley mentioned a string of incidents at home and work, and she thinks they might be linked to some kind of campaign against your brother. Do you think Mrs Tilsley's right? Could there be some link between the accident and the problems Nick was having? Well, he wasn't trying to top himself, if that's what you think. I meant that he might have been targeted, deliberately. <sighs> Sometimes you just had to run a bad luck. It's not fair, but... You probably see this all the time, don't you? An accident happens and the family always looks for somebody else to blame. So, what happened? Who was when you let him at the hospital? Izzy had to move Jake's party. You couldn't have it in the bistro, could they? Not with Nick. Well, move it to where? Not here. Tina, they... Look on the bright side. There's a bright side? Oh, whatever happens, we'll always be friends. Always. You've got a brilliant relationship with Jenna. She loves you. And we won't let her feel like she has to take sides. Of course not. I'm going to Dallas tonight. What, with Inshaw? Why the rush? Well, she's expecting me. Well, at least let me give you a hand with the packing. All done. Well, I'll drive you then. I've only had the one. I found my own way here. I'll find my own way out again. That is, if I survive this next bit. Telling Dame Gloria where to stick her spatula. <laughs> oh, drowning his sorrows, are you? No. Well, you should be, because I've just sacked his son. It's his first day. And his last. His bone idle. He'd be lucky if he makes it to the dole office, let alone high office. Ah, uh, Cray. I think there might have been a misunderstanding. He committed the cardinal sin of paper, boys. The news must get out. Yes, I think we should probably go. Oh, good idea, Emily. He's well out of it. Slave labour. I have a good mind to speak to my MP. Bone idle is delicate. That's what he is. Delicate. Oh, well, don't expect a reference <laughs> from you, Gloria. I've cooked for Robbie Williams. Oh, that well-known gourmet. <laughs> he never asked me to make bread and butter pudding with fresco frugal margarine. Give my best to Stella. Now she had class. Poor oh, Simon. He was shattered. Mm. Well, we did right to bring him home. Well, he shouldn't have been there in the first place. Kylie. I know Liam means well. I wouldn't have taken Max. I bet that kid'll have nightmares tonight. And what would you have done? Just shoved it under the carpet, pretended it never happened? <sighs> Will you sit down, you? You've been on pin since you got home. I'm, um, I'm gonna go back. I'm not used to it. Well, you'd be no use at the hospital either. Cheers. <sighs> David, even if Nick comes out of the coma, he has been through major brain surgery, darling. I mean, he's not going to hop out of bed and go dancing around the room. It's going to be a long haul. And you'll wish you saved your strength because it's when he's up and about, walking and talking, that's when he's going to need you by his side. <sighs> Come here. Oh, I've been going crazy. I know it's selfish and I'd never say this in front of Leanne. I can't stop thinking how close we came to losing you. 
The thing is, I've never had that much trouble with our Craig in the past. The rat phase was a worry, but then I spoke to the bloke in the pet shop, you know, the one with the tats? Hillary. Hillary. And he pointed out no one's ever been mauled to death by a rat. There was a bubonic plague, I suppose. <sighs> it's just these last few months. He's just not been himself. What's up? You know something? Last few months? I mean, Fitz, it's making it what? He doesn't like sharing you. Oh, you numpty. He idolises you. He's just saying that because he knows it's what you want to wear. But inside, he might be boiling up. You know your trouble, Kirky. You think too much. You're not the first person to say that. It's like the light's just gone out of his eyes. Well, we'll put it back. I promise. I can't believe you saw the wind asses that can have the party here. It is a public house. Look, and you've got a business to run, I know that. Isn't Tina an important part of that business? Well, I'm not a mind reader, love. I ran it by her and she said it was OK. Well, how much are they paying you? The money isn't an issue. Well, then tell them to bog off to the Legion, Gary's ex-army. Tommy, I don't want to fall out with you over this, but I will if you carry on. My granddaughter is going through hell. Her husband might die. Tina's troubles pale in comparison. Same again, love. This one's on account, yeah? Hey, look after yourself. Yeah, you too. Oh, I got your text. I was at the gym. I came as fast as I could. Oh, Mum, wish you weren't going. <laughs> it's with and short, love. I'll see you soon. Mm. Let's not drag this out. Mm. Mm. a few days to shift my stuff out. I don't know where I'll go, but... Go? Are you kidding? You're the one good thing that's come out of this mess. You're going nowhere, kid. Drink, yeah? Yeah, OK. Now, your Alsatian, or German Shepherd, to give him his correct title, he gets a bad press and he might... You give me a problem and I will offer you a solution. I've sorted Amy. What? Well, Steve's always banging on about quality time, so I've kindly upped his contact and Mam is going to pick up the slack. So until you realise that you cannot live without me and my darling daughter, the keys please. But Trace, I meant what I said about sharing. Eight years at HMP Hellhole was enough. Yeah, but I'm more fun after lights out. Look, I'm serious. With time, maybe, but, but not yet. Not while we're working together all day as well. Hmm. Well, that's a real shame because Michelle has already taken Amy, so now I'm kind of twiddling my thumbs. Is that a problem? I might have a solution. I didn't rush from the gym. I got your text saying Mum was leaving and I couldn't face a long, embarrassing goodbye. It just looks like I've traded her in. Hey. I dawdled. What does that make me? Coward. Make sure your father's daughter... Come here, give us a hug. Look, whatever's happened here, she adores you. She'll always be your mum. Bless her. Hi. Sleeping beauty, wakey wakey. Just shut my eyes for a minute. How's he doing? <sighs> Sorry, I'm oh. sick of people asking. Oh, same, same. No news is good news. Uh, only other cliches. Anyway, uh, I'm not stopping. The nurse said there's only two allowed in at a time. I just bobbed in to say you carried your weights. <sighs> good luck, Nick. Pal. Got no keys for your flat, otherwise I would have got his wash bag and stuff. Right, come on, missus. Call me the cavalry. It's time for you to go home. No. Leanne, you're dead on your feet. You need a hot bath, you need a few hours' kip, and rescue mask. Heating in these places is so drying. No. Hon, if he wakes up and sees you like this, then monitors will bob through the roof. Cheers. You need to save your energy. Hey, I've seen him with a cold. God knows what it'll be like after surgery. <laughs> Just a few hours. Go on. Don't worry, even I won't make a play for a guy in a coma. You've got your standards. Too right. Oh. So, bags packed, keys returned, gone. Guess I should never even live near. She even took a tortoise. At least you faced it. Said the unsayable. You stay and have a drink with us, or you rush him back to Paul. I'll make him a double shower. 
corner, right? Quite the night in shining armor, isn't he? Eh? I've been thinking. Day of the party. Why don't you take the shift off? Go out with Sir Galahad. Take your mind off the baby and everything. You're an asset, love. Gotta hang on to me assets. Mrs. Tilsley, I was on my way to your flat. I have just an update on our investigations. All oh, right, well, this is Mick's mum's saying. You can fill us all in. It's Leanne. She's got that copper with her. Hey, uh, um, this is PC Collins. Oh, oh hello, officer. Can I, um, can I get you a cup of tea? <laughs> no, thank you. I, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the investigation into the collision is continuing, but the preliminary report shows that there were no signs of defects with the tyres and that the engine was well maintained. Yeah, well, it, it's just a works van, but Nick does look after it. Well, we'll continue to examine it. And we've decided to inform CID about the incidents that you mentioned, just in case there is a link. Oh, really? Yeah, they may want to speak to some of the people around, Mr Tilsley. Yeah, well, we'll all be glad to help, won't we? Yeah, anything they need. Of course. And we've still got the driver's statements to go through. Um, do you mean the, the lorry driver? We put out an appeal. Two new witnesses have come forward, saying they were in oncoming traffic. Oh, so they would have had a front view of the van, then? Yeah, I mean, if a fox ran out into the road, say, or Mr Tilsley lost control of the wheel, they'd be best place to spot it. Oh, right. Well, thanks. We really appreciate everything you're doing, don't we? Yeah, yeah, thanks. Hogwarts battles against other wizard schools tomorrow night at 7 in the fourth instalment. It's Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Next, we're in Port Wen with a lovelorn policeman and a couple at war. Martin Clunes' is Doc Martin next on ITV. Yeah.